Alberto, what's up, buddy? Hey, Rich, can you hear me? Yeah, what's going on? Awesome. Um, not much. Thank you for doing this. I uh, really looking forward to asking. I've been having this problem since high school where women, for some reason, think that I'm gay. Uh, I had several experiences where, you know, I was going out with this chick. And then when I made a move, she freaking jumped out and she says, like, I thought you were gay. Oh, did and, you get in uh, a friend zone with her? No, not at all. I just stopped, stopped talking to her. How many? Um, how many I don't dates, like. How many? How many official dates did you go on before you made a move on her? Ah, uh, probably three. Okay. Uh, I mean, I slept. I slept with her same room, same bed. She told me in the morning that I had a, you know, hard wood, and I told her it was normal for guys to wake up like that. But uh, mm. it was more of a, a friends of my mom. I was in. I was sixteen. I was just stay over until I decided to make a move. I wasn't really interested until, until she started telling me that she wa always wanted to have a, mm -hmm. somebody like me, I guess. I thought, I thought she liked me. That's why I made a move. But do I usually like? don't chase. I usually don't chase girls. I, mm -hmm. I don't like to waste my time too much. Where do you live? I, have more, I live in Arizona. And you're Latin. You're from Mexico or? Yes, I was born in Mexico. I came over to the States when I okay. was in middle school. Do you want to throw your camera on so we can get a look at your butt or there you go? Okay, well, you're a good looking guy, right? Yeah. It's maybe something to do with your voice and your tonality. Because I mean, like just listening to your voice when we're when we're chatting, I mean, it sounds a little uh, Finocchio is what the Italians would call it. Hmm, let me write that down. <laughs> All right. Do you think that might be because of a low testosterone levels? Do you have low T levels? I never checked my uh, T levels. You got a decent beard. I mean, like most of the time when guys have facial hair, if they have low T, it's very patchy, right? Like it doesn't fill in. I can see that you're, you know, you got a decent beard. I mean, like, look, you can deepen your voice, you know, doing voice exercises. You can increase your testosterone levels marginally by taking certain supplements. Like in my supplement line, if you go to the unpluggedalpha.com and then sort, sort by testosterone support, zinc, vitamin D, K, and the T support, those three alone will probably boost your testosterone a couple hundred points. Um, you're going to need to lift weights and rest though, right? Like that's the other key thing as well. But usually women will see a guy as gay if i mean if you're straight and if they see you as gay or they say oh i thought that you were gay it's usually because your mannerisms and behavior and your dress and your style and the way that you approach them is more like friend zoney right whereas you know yes. like a straight guy will make his intention very clear right away right Yes, exactly. I, I like really, you sit down at her house really and she's like, hey, Alberto, you know, can I get you a drink? And she's going to the kitchen. You look at it and you go, actually, I like to wear that ass as a hat. Oh, sorry. Did I just say that? That's what an alpha male will, <laughs> will say, right? To express his intentions and, you know, say what he's thinking. But if you play the friend zone guy for like two, three dates and then you make a move, but you're like slow with it, but you're still very nice and buoyant and stuff like that. She might put you in like that. Hey, this guy could be in the gay zone sort of thing, right? Yeah, and I'm more concerned with uh, like moment encounters. I was just in a festival, and some girls just assumed like after three minutes that I was gay. Um, so I think it, um, the voice. I have to really pay attention to my voice. Um, mm -hmm. Looking, uh, do some uh, testosterone levels checks, and yeah, I got some homework to do. Do, like do a bit of a makeover when it comes to your look as well i don't know if you want to mess around with the hair and the facial hair and the style and all that but i mean if you can but if you can get yourself into like a more masculine frame sort of thing you probably have less pushback from the gals this is kind of difficult for me right because i'm not a chick um i know what women are attracted to right and i mean it should be obvious to them whether you're gay or straight like most women they seem to know like right away it's almost like women have gaydar like gay guys have where they know if somebody's gay or straight mm -hmm. so you're sending off some vibes that they're picking up on that they're going hang on a sec this guy looks like he could be gay right yeah yeah i just saw my hair too i just started growing it i i like to experiment i like to have adventures and uh so uh, 
I'm pretty has, open minded, has, but not in, not in that way. Has anybody ever said to you, Alberto, you look like so and so? Yeah, 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 definitely. I like rock Ooh. and roll, and uh, usually it's somebody um, from that area. Is there an artist or somebody that they say that you look like? Definitely. Yeah, I got Ooh. many. Yeah. You, uh, also, I get a lot. Uh, in Mexico, I get. They tell me, they ask me if I'm from uh, uh, Arabia, like Qatar and those places. No, I can tell by your accent that you're Latin, but yeah, you do look kind of like maybe you're from the Middle East too. So the reason why I'm asking is, is because like women have said to me throughout the years, like Rich, you know, you look like The Rock, you look like Vin Diesel, you look like Triple H, uh, the WWE guy, you look like, um, there's a few guys that I've passed off that are like, you know, conventionally masculine sort of dudes, right? Yeah. So, you know, we always say you want to have a look and you kind of want to own it sort of thing. So whenever somebody's like, oh, Richard Ball, it's like, yeah, that's part of the look, stupid. Don't you think I shaved my head to have that look, right? So, okay. I mean, if you can find a strong masculine figure that's prominent in Hollywood or in, you know, certain mm -hmm. circles that the gals run in that you like and then sort of mimic that look, then that'll give you a little okay. bit of an advantage because it'll be like, oh, Alberto looks like whatever, you know. Yeah, I get I get told that a lot. Thank you for the advice. I, I have one ask. Go ahead. Um, I find I think that I'm not too. I don't I don't chase girls a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's my time. I'm I'm waiting. I'm really working on myself and uh, being successful. Mm -hmm. And I see it as a waste of time sometimes, and I'm not sure if that has something to do with the way that I might. Well, you have um, that to be I behave in your intentions, right? Like you have to express interest in them rather than sort of lollygagging around and thinking, well, if I spend two or three nights with her, she'll hopefully want to bang me, right? Uh, Alan Roger Curry mm -hmm. died recently. He wrote a great book called Mode One. And he talks about direct communication methods when it comes to dealing with women. You might want to check it out because it'll help you sort of like calibrate yourself to a more direct conversation piece with these gals. Okay. All right. Will do. Okay, man. Um, awesome. Thank you so much for the advice. All right, Perfect. buddy. You take care. It. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.